Does biting into food with dental implants feel the same as real teeth? You don't know where they're going to land when you're used to having a mouth that's empty. Well, today I'm joined by Michelle, who's had her dental implants for four years. She's going to break down three important aspects of living with dental implants, how they feel, the maintenance involved, and what eating is like with them. So wait until you find out the number one thing that really surprised me. Before we jump in and find out more, if you want to learn more about the cost of dental implants, you can click the link below to get a free cost and information guide. Michelle, let's kick things off with topic number three, real or fake sensations and feelings of dental implants. What's the biggest thing that we need to know about how dental implants feel? And I can only imagine when you go from having your surgery and having no teeth to then 24 hours later, having this beautiful brand new set of teeth, I can imagine at first, it must feel a little bit foreign, right? Oh, definitely. Awkward. Awkward and odd. Uh, actually, my first experience, uh, I really love Star Wars, and Darth Vader has this huge helmet, and it's awkward and it's odd, and that's what it reminded me of. Like, I had a helmet in my in my mouth. It, I told my husband, I'm like, it reminds me of Darth Vader's helmet. It just felt so awkward and my mouth was so used to being empty that it wasn't anymore. It, it was very unfamiliar, definitely. So it was, it was a bit of a learning curve in the beginning, but as the swelling went away and the bruising went away, it's almost like as that went away, I grew more attached to them. So it was a give and take. The swelling and the bruising went away and my body started to, that's one of the things that's so great about the Nubia 24 hours, because as the swelling and the bruising is going away, you are seeing your smile transform. And it's a perfect combination of how you accept it as you're healing. But the real test was for me at my wedding, which was just a couple of months after I got my, my teeth implanted, put into my face, <laughs> put into my mouth, was when I had pictures and I was reading my vows and I was interacting with others and I didn't have concerns. I was free. I could smile. I was laughing. I mean, there are photos of me at all different angles that I would have never done. I was so oh. reserved beforehand. So I think, you know, as, as bruising and the swelling and the healing happens, you are your body is adapting and adjusting and you are seeing it visually and feeling it. Knowing here and here that it was permanent and a part of me was definitely at my wedding when photos and talking and interacting with others so personal in a personal manner and up close was like, wow, I, I really got this. These are mine. Oh They're gosh. not going anywhere. So oh it was my gosh. magical. <laughs> My heart is literally like pitter pattering at, at the thought of how you felt having something so special planned after your dental implant surgery and knowing how beautiful you looked and, and knowing how confident your new permanent teeth in 24 hours made you feel. That's amazing. And that's what it's all about, right? We want to feel good. We want to look good. We want teeth that work and function right, but we want to feel like they're ours and we want them to like boost our confidence and make us feel good and almost not ever have to worry about them or think about them. Right. Yeah. And that's, that is absolutely the case. I've had them for so long now, and it's been for many years that I've had them that I, I know they're there because it's brightened up my confidence and who I am as a person. But when it comes to thinking that they're not mine or they're going to fall out, it doesn't cross my mind. They are so me, so natural, so comfortable, so perfect for me. They are. They're just, I just love them. I love them too. And yes, they are perfect. You're perfect. One thing that I heard that you mentioned that I really liked too was talking about how getting your teeth in 24 hours allowed you to get used to them more quickly because you're not going back for appointment after appointment. Um, and having different sets of temporary teeth put in, I feel like other processes like that would make it harder to really know what your teeth are going to look like and to really get used to them. Right. Would, I mean, would you agree? Do you have anything? I would share absolutely. About? Yeah, I would absolutely agree. I follow a lot of dental and plant stories and places and because we did our research and dragging it out is hard on the psyche. 
Are the next ones going to feel better? Are the next ones going to be right? Four months is a long time to wait when you're waiting for your teeth. Are they going to feel real? Are they going to feel natural? These ones don't feel good. Maybe the next ones will. Absolutely getting them right away, seeing them, feeling them, adjusting to them from the beginning. Huge for, for this kind of a process. You want to see what you're getting. You want to see it. We live in a world where instant gratification is is something that we want with everything. And when you want that instant gratification of going from, we'll show you before, from this to this in 24 hours, like sign me up, baby, right? Like that's, that's what's up. Michelle, let's weigh in. Topic number three, the feeling and sensation of dental implants. Would you rate your permanent teeth in 24 hours as feeling real or feeling more fake? Absolutely real. Absolutely real. Wouldn't change a thing. Moving on to topic number two, real or fake, the maintenance and care of dental implants. Is it true that caring for dental implants is pretty similar to caring for your natural teeth? Caring for my implants is very similar to natural teeth. For starters, uh, we get little fuzzies on our teeth. Like uh, my dentist, my old dentist, my kid's dentist used to call them sweaters. You could feel the buildup and it's like, you know, you got to brush them. Uh, I was under the expectation that they wouldn't ever get like that. That I would just, I mean, of course I want to brush my teeth because hygiene is good, but you, they get the same kind of coat and filling when you eat sugar or anything. So yeah, you do need to maintenance them, brushing them. Uh, I use the little tiny, tiny Christmas tree things that can slide up under there because you do get a little buildup there that you want to take care of. Water pick. I'm a number one fan of water pick. They're amazing. You want to keep them clean. Just like with real teeth or anything, you can get bad breath if you don't maintenance and have hygiene and take care of them. So yes, take care of them. And yes, it is very similar. The only thing is, is I don't get cavities or broken, broken teeth anymore, which is fantastic. And also, it sounds like it's way easier to take care of than something like dentures, which I know you have to take those out. You have to soak them. They tend to smell. You have to brush them, but also you have to use like sticky paste to like put them in. I'm sure your bridge was kind of a similar situation. Oh, definitely. The maintenance on implants is so much easier than the dentures. Uh, I grew up in a family where everybody had dentures. I would go into the bathroom and my mother's would be floating in the cup. Uh, <laughs> my dad had it. My brother has it. I just wonder if it's kind of embarrassing for them. Uh, I know I'm family. I don't, I don't judge that, but I have a, a compassionate heart that I, I just wish everybody could have this experience. Uh, so yeah, that my mom would put this glue stuff on and she would put it in and, and she would be gagging because the glue was going down her throat. And, Ugh. and so the glue is a mess and it didn't stick. It didn't stick. She, it would be coming off. And, and I've seen videos where people are laughing and the teeth fly out. There's so many things people don't think about with dentures, but if you've been around people that have had them, then you have an inside look at how it affected their lives personally. And so there is definitely a huge difference in, in how these are comparable to maintenance wise and self-esteem with, with implants compared to dentures for sure. Well, my next question, Michelle, is did you find any surprises with the maintenance of your dental implants? There were some surprises, but they were really good ones. Tell me more. <laughs> so I only have to go to the dentist once a year. Uh, there's no drills because I have dental anxiety. No drills, no abrasive work. They just check things out. Um, these This isn't really enamel. It's zirconia. So they say beautiful and sparkly all the time. These things are so sturdy and strong. I can say my T's and my S's. And with flossing is really easy as well because you don't have to actually floss between each individual tooth. You just use your water pick and go along the gum line and underneath, underneath the brackets and well, the implants because they're not really brackets either. It's just very simple. Just go along. I use my water pick at a level four, never gone above it, and it cleans everything up. So I was definitely pleasantly surprised that there was none of those issues that I was thinking would happen with dentures. Implants was such a new thing to me. I didn't know this was available. 
It's wonderful. From day one, Nubia took superb care of me. I knew exactly what to do, what was expected. They answered my questions and they did it in a way that if I had forgotten something, because, you know, in the moment you're you're excited, your brain's rushing, you, you could forget things. You get home, you have a question pop up, you can call them. They are there for you. They're so transparent. Everything's clear. And they treat you with such care and compassion and love that you're not afraid to call them if you have a question. They're like your buddy, right? It's they like, totally, oh, my husband and I talk about this. They are like family from the, I almost feel like crying because I've had so much experience with dental places that has been horrific. And to say, I I feel like my dentist is my family. And it's not just because they changed my life. But it's because they truly love you. They do. And you feel it. The second you, make, you call, the second you go in, they know you. They care. Tell me about uh, how you were able to make Nuvia happen for yourself. So Nuvia's got lots of great options. I was able to get a payment plan. Uh, they explained everything. They gave you a one, one cost. There's no hidden fees. No, nothing. I was able to get a payment plan. They have lots of options, lots of ways to afford it. Uh, if you want to know more, download the cost guide. It's so worth it. You can find that cost guide below. All right, Michelle, topic number two, the maintenance of dental implants. We're weighing in. Do they feel real or you voting them fake? Oh, totally real. A hundred percent real. Uh, they, you have to take care of them. You have to maintenance them. Uh, you got to brush them. You got to floss them. These feel better than my real teeth. <laughs> I love that. So I would say real plus because they're even real better plus than your plus. <laughs> All right. We got two votes for real, zero votes for fake. And we're moving on to the big thing that you learned. Topic number one, real or fake. We're talking about eating with dental implants. Michelle, this is the big question that everyone asks. What is it like to eat with dental implants? Now, I know in the beginning, Michelle, that there are some more traditional methods that require patients to sometimes follow a liquid-only diet, right, for like up to maybe even six weeks, which, kill me now, I could never do it. I really couldn't. It sounds miserable. Uh, but you got permanent zirconia teeth just 24 hours after surgery, and that allowed you to actually start eating soft foods right away, didn't it? Yeah. So I was able to start eating soft foods immediately after I got my implants. Uh, it's a plastic fork diet. Uh, and amazingly, if you hold a plastic fork, there's actually quite a bit you can eat. Uh, there's a lot of Hawaiian foods that are really tenderized and soft foods, uh, cooked vegetables. Just make sure you can cut it with a plastic fork because there's micro healing that you can't see. It's imperative to eat what the doctor says, so you can have strong implants that stay strong. I was super cautious. I did uh, protein shakes. I did a lot of mashed potatoes and gravy, uh, very well-cooked vegetables. And I maintained that for quite a while because I, I wanted them to heal so strong. <laughs> and they did. <laughs> so you've got your permanent teeth. You're home, you're icing, you've got your plastic fork, you're able to eat anything that you can cut with that plastic fork. How did the sensation of eating go? Did it feel weird? Uh, yeah, I bit my lips and my cheeks and my tongue quite a bit, uh, only because you don't know where they're going to land when you're used to having a mouth that's empty and now all of a sudden you've got teeth. I did bite my cheeks quite a bit. So I was very gentle. Like, like it felt, it felt a little like odd a at first. For sure. Little baby bird bites, right? Like just yeah. little baby bird bites. And so you're just super cautious. It's awkward. It's like, am I going to break? Am I going to be the one that breaks something? I'm sure there's a bit of a learning curve when you start learning how to eat because they're brand new and there is a head teeth, you know, a mental connection where you have to learn to trust your teeth, uh, right? Absolutely. There is definitely a process of accepting them as your own and all of a sudden your body's like oh okay there's teeth there they're not going anywhere uh we're starting to figure out by talking and chewing where they land you don't you don't bite your cheeks and tongue as much as you did so obviously there is some learning happening so yeah it's it, it, it's a process you are on the road to healing. You're hitting, what, is it month three, month four? When are you able 
to throw away that plastic fork and be able to nosh down on chips and salsa and tacos and steak and and apple. When are you allowed or able? When are you able to eat any yeah. food you want? When does that happen? When I was given the go ahead to eat whatever I want, healing's good was at my four month. Uh, and it was odd because I had dreamed about going out and eating a steak. And I did. I did go have a steak. Actually, I had prime rib for my first meal. And even then, it was that fear for a moment. Like, okay, I haven't eaten anything. They said it's okay. But is it really? And I would cut off little tiny bites. And the strangest thing for me when I was able to chew was that I was able to chew. Before I got my implant from Nibia, I had to sit there and chew with just the broken down front teeth I had on the front, anything was just right there on those front teeth. I had nothing in the back. And oh, so putting the food back into my chewer teeth and chewing, it's the most amazing sensation ever. And you taste your food so differently and you get to process all these different flavors that you would have missed if you only chewed a little bit and then swallowed, hopefully not choking because you can't break it down. You get to savor literally savor the flavor and it's so amazing and it's just you digest it easier and you chew chewing is so enjoyable when you've had so many years of not being able to do it it's like 30 <laughs> 32 bites i'm like mm, easy oh my gosh oh this my is gosh. so fun <laughs> I, i'm dying because i feel like hi my name's michelle my hobbies include chewing Saving the flavor and just enjoying these amazing teeth. <laughs> that this could is so be fun. my meme. <laughs> this is so much fun. It is so fun to learn from a patient's perspective, you know, really the ins and outs of how it feels to go from not having beautiful permanent teeth and having teeth that weren't working for you, period, to having these beautiful, functioning, uh, amazing, strong teeth that really not only helped your confidence, but now are allowing you to do the most simple things that you weren't able to do before. Who would have thought you'd put chewing down as something that you enjoy, but look at what these teeth have given you, like this whole new eating experience. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, chewing is very enjoyable. You have this whole experience and it's permanent. Like that's so huge. I had gone in and out of dentists my whole life. I've had issues. And now I don't worry about toothaches. I don't worry about anything breaking. I could bite into a caramel apple, which I love. I love biting into a caramel apple because you get, like I said, you get to a different flavor when you can break it down properly. It's so funny you talked about an apple, Michelle, because my next question to you was, is eating with dental implants really like eating with your natural teeth? Can you do all the same things? Can you even bite into an apple? Is it that the was same? my next question. Yeah. yeah. Is it the same? Actually, no. It's 100% better. Ah, it's that's 100% amazing. real better. I love these way more than my other, my real teeth. These are so good. <laughs> Woo. Well, we're going to show a clip of you actually biting into an apple. Bam. Roll that beautiful apple footage. <laughs> and I'm going to say, talk about, talk about biting an apple, girl. I don't even think I could do that with my teeth. And I've had my teeth my whole life. Like what is even happening right now? Um, all right, Michelle, we're, we've talked about eating with dental implants, how it feels to eat the process of getting your dental implants in 24 hours, being able to eat food the next day. Sounds like you can do way more with your permanent teeth than you were able to do with your natural teeth. So on the topic of eating with dental implants. How do you weigh in, Michelle? Are they real or do they feel fake? They are real. They do not feel fake at all. Way better than the other ones I had. <laughs> I can honestly say for sure that my Nubia teeth are 100% better than my natural teeth. There are no limits. What I can eat, what I can drink, how I can show up, how I can smile, how I can talk, 100% real. Oh, ding, ding, ding. All right, guys, the verdict is in. It is real free, fake zero. Michelle has weighed in. She's dished on her dental implants, whether they feel real or fake in three huge categories in life, right? We're talking about how they feel, the sensations of them right when you get them in to, to now. We've talked about also what it's like to maintain dental implants. Michelle weighed in. She said it's even easier than taking care of real teeth. 
natural teeth. And we've also talked about your big question, what it's like to eat with dental implants. And once again, Michelle actually said eating with dental implants is better than eating with her natural teeth was. So this has been such an amazing, fun time. But the verdict's in. For Michelle, dental implants certainly feel more real than fake. Thank you so much for joining us today on Dental Implant Talk, stories from real patients like Michelle. If you found this episode helpful, be sure to subscribe and share it with someone who you know who might be considering dental implants. And don't forget to click the link below for Nuvia's totally free cost and information guide. And until next time, keep, keep smiling. smiling.